Chapter 13b is going to be our uh, units of concentration, and we're going to start with molarity. So the equation for molarity is capital M, which represents molarity, also referred to in short as molar, and it's going to equal moles of solute divided by liters of solution. So the short version of this equation is molarity equals moles over liter. So let's do a few calculations. In number one, it asks, what is the molarity? And when it asks you for the molarity, we're going to take the mass that they give us and we're going to put it over the volume. They don't give us moles, but they do give us 5.30 grams of sodium carbonate. So I'm actually going to place 5.30 grams of sodium carbonate all over the volume that they give us, which is not liters, but it is milliliters, 400.0 milliliters. We're going to take this and we're going to actually convert it to moles over liter. So I'm going to rewrite it down here, 5.30 grams of sodium carbonate over 400.0 milliliters, times draw a line, I'm going to bring down grams of sodium carbonate and we're going to go to one mole of sodium carbonate. The mass of sodium carbonate is 105.99 and so now we can cancel our grams of sodium carbonate and we have moles at the top which is what we want to see at the top of our equation. Now we need to take care of the bottom of our equation, which needs to be expressed in liters. So we're actually going to take these milliliters and we're going to bring them up in the next step. This way, the milliliters will cancel out and we can go from milliliters to liters because one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. And now you can see we have liters at the bottom, which is what we should have. So as everything is canceled out, it's provided us with the units moles over liters, which is what we need. Now the final answer, you're going to type in 5.30 divided by 400.0 divided by 105.99 times 1,000. That's going to give us 0 0.125. So 0 0.125, our units are moles over liters and we know that that is the same thing as writing 0 0.125 capital M which stands for molarity and this is of sodium carbonate and this is how your final answer should be expressed. So let's do another example where it's asking us to solve for the molarity. What is the molarity if we are given 5.00 grams of sodium hydroxide and because we want to know what is the molarity we're going to take our mass and we're going to put it over our given volume which is 750.0 milliliters. We need this to be in moles, we need this to be in liters because molarity is moles over liters. So we're going to do our little double conversion where we bring down grams of NaOH and we're going to go to one mole of NaOH. This equals 40 grams, so grams of sodium hydroxide cancel and we're left with mole at the top, which is what we want. Times draw a line. Now we're going to take the milliliters here and bring them up and we're going to go from milliliters to liter. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Notice our milliliters cancel with each other and we're left with just the liters at the bottom. So as everything has canceled properly, we can now get our final answer. 5.00 divided by 750.0 divided by 40 times 1,000. Gives us 0 0.167. 
and that's moles over liter because we have moles here over liter here. And this is the same thing as writing 0 0.167 molar sodium hydroxide. And this is how the final answer should be expressed. What if we're not asked to find the molarity, but we're given it? Like here, they give you the molarity. You never start with a given molarity. So if we're not going to start with the given molarity, we have only one other option or one other given. The 10.0 liters is our other given. So we're going to start with this. They're asking us to find how many moles of sodium carbonate. So this one's going to be a little bit different than the first two that we did because we're given a molarity in this scenario where we were finding the molarity in the other two. So I'm going to put my given 10.0 liters over 1. I'm going to bring down liters. And here, we're going to use a special new kind of conversion factor where I'm going to change my 2.0 molarity. I'm going to change it to be 2.0 moles over 1 liter. These two are equivalent to each other. They mean the same thing. So it's OK to change molarity to moles over liter. And I'm now going to use this right here, one liter to 2.0 moles. This allows liters to cancel, and now I'm at moles, which happens to be what I want. So we're done setting up this problem. 10 times two is gonna equal 20, and that's moles of Na2CO3. So this one was a single conversion where we used the molarity as a conversion factor. Let's try another one. Here you are given the molarity. We will not start with the molarity. Just recall that that's the same thing as 0 0.20 moles over 1 liter. The other given is 220.0 milliliters, so that's what we're going to actually start with. And we're trying to get to grams of sodium chloride. So first, I'm going to bring down my milliliters and change to liters. 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliters. This cancels out my milliliters. Times draw a line, bring down liter. As soon as you get to liters or moles is when you want to go ahead and use your molarity conversion factor. 1 liter equals 0.20 moles. Now we're at moles because the liters cancel. However, I need this to be in grams. So we're going to go one more step, bring down moles. And this is of NaCl. One mole is equal to 58.44 grams of sodium chloride from the periodic table. And here moles will cancel and we are left with grams of NaCl, which is what we want our final. So now we can calculate 220.0 divided by 1000 times 0.2 times 58.44. And that leaves us with 2.57. And because grams of an ACL is all I have left standing, that is what the unit of my final answer is. Okay, let's try a different one. One more, where we are given the molarity. Once again, you can't start with it, but it does equal 12.0 moles over 1 liter. And our other given, this time, is 3.00 moles of HCl. We're trying to find what is the volume in milliliters. So I'm going to start with my 3.00 moles of HCl. We'll put that over 1 times draw a line. And then we're going to bring down our moles of HCl, but this time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and use our molarity, but see how the moles are at the bottom? That means the 12.0 is going to go at the bottom this time, and the 1 liter is going to go here at the top. And so we're still using the molarity as a conversion factor, but it's just inverted in this particular case. Finally, I'm going to cancel out my moles of HCl. I'm at liters, but I want to be in milliliters. So I'll bring down liters, 
and one liter equals a thousand milliliters. Here my liters will cancel and I'm left with milliliters for my final answer, for my unit on my final answer. So now 3.00 divided by 12.0 times 1,000 gives us 250. And because this is my last standing unit that has not been canceled, that is the unit on my final answer. One more example. Here I'm given the molarity, which is the same thing as 18.0 moles over one liter. I'm also given grams and asked to find the volume in milliliters. So I'm gonna put the 2.45 grams of H2SO4 over one, bring down the grams, and I gotta to go to the periodic table and add up the molar mass, 98.09, which equals one mole. And then I'm gonna bring down my moles of H2SO4. Anytime you get to mole or liter is when you wanna use this in your problem. 18.0 is gonna go at the bottom next to mole. One liter is gonna go at the top. So far my grams cancel, my moles cancel, and I'm at liter, but they want the answer in milliliter. So we'll do one more step. Bring down liter, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Your liters will cancel, and then we can get our answer. 2.45 divided by 98.09 .09, divided by 18 times 1,000 equals 1.39 and that's gonna be milliliters.